The day Lady died. It is 12.20 in New York, a Friday, three days after Bastille Day, yes. It is 19.59 and I go get a shoe shine because I will get off the 4.19 in East Hampton, 7.15, and then go straight to dinner, and I don't know the people who will feed me. I walk up the muggy street beginning to sun and have a hamburger and a malted and buy an ugly New World writing to see what the poets in Ghana are doing these days. I go on to the bank, and Miss Stillwagon, first name Linda, I once heard, doesn't even look up my balance for once in her life. And in the Golden Griffin, I get a little Verlaine <clears throat> for Patsy, with drawings by Bonnard, although I do think of Hesiod, Trans Richard, Richmond Lattimore, or Brendan Behan's new play, or Le Balcon, or Les Dagues, or Genet, but I don't. I stick with Verlaine, after practically going to sleep with quandariness. And for Mike, I just stroll into the Park Lane liquor store, and ask for a bottle of Strega, and then I go back where I came from, to 6th Avenue, and the tobacconist in the Ziegfeld Theater, and casually ask for a carton of Goulois <clears throat> and a carton of Picayunes and a New York Post with her face on it. And I am sweating a lot by now and thinking of leaning on the John door in the five spot while she whispered a song along the keyboard to Mal Waldron, and everyone and I stopped breathing. <laughs>